I'm absolutely milking the markets today. We were up 13% overall from these gold cells caught up right here. 16, 60, 50 and 16, 59, 50. These cells right here, we closed out for over 10%. I had two trades on it. So I closed to 6% and then a 4%. The buys from this morning... You know, we made about 4 or 5%. So overall, including in two losses, we're actually up plus 13% of making this video. Now, the previous 1H of these highs from the lows. So this is what I mean. Previous bearish engulfing, highs, highs, lows. So we've sold off already. We've pulled back up from this previous low all the way up here. Collected orders and resold. So that is market still a sell. So if we're looking across here, this market still a sell. Now this is a pullback for a bearish downtrend. Now previous highs will find resistance and collect orders on the previous lower highs of the high channel made here. Now people would be saying, hold on, we might retest back up to 1678. Yes, there is a high possibility. 1678 will be touched there's a high possibility because three highs we've touched here we clicked it but this is a double bottom never in really trading is are we going to see a double bottom we're always going to see it pull back to around 1642 so 1643 and then obviously go up higher all the way taking out the previous highs and then going on to 1678 so right now these cells that we had on that was why that was the wick. Now in the 15 minutes, you're going to see an OB, which is an order block, which is the collection of the bodies. One, two, three. Now it's just going to sell back down and continue to sell back down all the way to 1643. You can hold it for it. Then obviously catch the buys from 1643 onto 1678. As I said, join up the free trades. All free trading I'm going to be doing on this channel from now on in. Because you guys need to learn how to actually trade gold. There's too many shit people out there. Like they're not even showing you really live trading. They're not predicting the markets. They're just showing you back testing. Um, you know, back testing small time frame trading. This is swing trading of maximized profits using 10 pip cells, 20 pip cells, and you know we're catching some insane profits. Like, <clears throat> not gonna actually tell you, but say we catch sales here at 16.59. And then you've got a profit target at 16.43, and then an SL at 1660. 10 pip SL take profit is huge. 16 to 1 trade. We've actually got these sales right now, which will be on the next video. I'll tell you the analysis behind that, even though I just said OB for an older blog. One, two, wick down, highs created. Body rejection should hopefully see sales to continue back down. And then buys back up again. Okay, we're buying and selling. We're trading the market. This is price action, baby. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, subscribe, like this content. Fingers crossed on this. Obviously, I'm using this as support and resistance, sorry. And I'm hoping that this resistance here is enough to pull back before New York opens at half one. And then, you know, 3 p.m., we see buys to 1678, take out the previous body sells where it engulf bearish and then that'll be a retest up here which would be very very nice free trading no one else can do this sort of shit you know this sort of shit is like back in the day king sean when he's posting a lot i know wills will likes king sean and when i used to watch king sean my pal also who i used to be friends with like king sean and when you see sort of trading, he's a swing trader, he does this sort of stuff, this price action analysis, the supply and demand zones. He knows where he knows where the market moves, how market moves, and that's exactly the same for me. I know how it moves, I know what it does, I know how to, you know, make money in these markets. So pretty simple stuff really. But with these sales obviously closed out up 13% today. And now wait for these sales. So we're in profit anyway. Let's go, baby.